Hey guys, Jason Guyman here with Christmas Lights, and today we are at Clifton Mill. It's up in Clifton Mill, Ohio, I believe it is. It's actually in Clifton, Ohio. It's um, up by Dayton, and I was going to do a video here of what it is. It's over three million lights, um, and I'll just this will be a video of that. Um, please, um, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Clifton Mills was great to take the family. Um, Jenna and Jillian had a great time looking at the waterfall. Um, this waterfall can actually be turned off as a switch and they actually do, this is part of the light show toward the end of the video that I show of the light show of the bridge and stuff and the waterfall is part of it. Um, the wishing well, Jenna and them, Jenna and Jill threw their wish in the wishing well, threw some quarters and dollars in there, which was pretty cool. Um, the huge outdoor train set was very big. Jenna and Jill loved it. They, uh, they had a little RV part set up there. They had a flying airplane, all kinds of cool things as a city. There was probably three or four trains, and it was really neat to watch the trains and um, this was actually a pretty crowded area when we were there. Um, there was a lot of people um, around the train set. Um, there is parking for their, um, Clifton Mills. Um, we did park in the parking lot. There is a lot of people that park down the city streets. Um, the good thing about the parking lot, it seems like um, this display takes anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour. So a lot of people are moving in and out of the parking lot. Um, when we got there, there was, um, there was no line. We did get there a little bit early. We got there about 6.15, 6.30. But by the time we were leaving, the line had gotten pretty big. So make sure you get there in plenty enough time to get through the line. And again, the waterfall, like I said, this was probably the neatest thing I've seen in a long time. There was a lot of lights there, just in there. Now, we got to see Santa Claus, and that was pretty cool. Jill's face was a million dollars to see Santa Claus. Um, my oldest daughter, Jill, or Jenna, she don't care so much for Santa Claus. The Santa Claus being up in the top was a great addition. Um, she doesn't like seeing big things. This is the backside. There is a place to get some snacks and stuff, and there is a store inside. Um, it was pretty crowded. We did not make our way into the crowd. We decided to stay outside. Um, so the next is getting ready for the light show. Um, they turn off all the lights in the whole park, and it's all your attention is to the bridge. Um, I'm not playing the song because I don't have it copyrighted and I couldn't find it, but it is the Trans-Siberian Orchestra song. Um, pretty cool. And I do like this song and I wish I could find the, the get the copyright part of it. And I haven't been able to do that yet, so I don't want to get striked on YouTube for having copyrighted material on this video. So that is why we're not doing that. Um, but it was pretty cool. Like I say, they do, it does, they turn off all the lights in the whole park, and it's kind of all set right here to the, uh, the, uh, the singing lights. Um, mostly it's on the bridge in the, of the, uh, of the waterfall. There's not a lot anywhere else, but our most of the, most of the lights are pushed to everybody to go look at the bridge, and it is very cool. Um, they have dancing trees and, and, uh, they did a very good job of this. Um, it is, um, it does cost to go in here. It is $10 a person for anybody, I believe it's uh, six and older. Um, we did pay it, so we, this is not something um, that we got in free for. So it is, it, is, um, it is a little expensive, but it is a good time. Um, and it is located, again, up in Clifton, Ohio. Um, it's about, it was about an hour and a half from Northern Kentucky for us. Um, I'd seen a lot of reviews for it, so I wanted to go see it and give a review myself for it. Um, if you have 
a favorite place that you love Christmas lights? Please comment below where it is. I don't even care if it's in the greater Cincinnati area, North Dakota. You can be anywhere across the country. Please, please um, put down in the comments um, where your favorite Christmas display is and why. Is it, you know, maybe because you went with a kid and all the time, but I would love to hear your story about that. Um, I appreciate you watching my video and I hope you have an awesome and Merry Christmas.